We're a small engineering business. We're based in Hillington, just along the M8, Junction 26. There are six of us involved there. Um, effectively, we are, uh, do water jet cutting or abrasive water jet cutting. Um, effectively, we have clients that range from very large scale fabricators and engineers like Deuce and Babcock doing power stations. And then the other end of the scale, we do work for individuals and sculptors. Um, the, the equipment we have, these two water jet, um, abrasive water jet cutting machines, they can handle um, parts or pieces from the size of a playing card to a 4 by 2 meter sheet of steel. They can cut through material from 1 mil to 150 mil thick. Um, we can virtually cut anything, metal, stone, uh, plastic or wood, anything apart from toughened glass. Um, how we do it, basically what we need is a, an AutoCAD or, or a, a technical drawing which we'll then convert into a CNC file which uh, drives the machine. Um, so if you've got an idea and you can translate it into a drawing with measurements, we will be able to cut it. Now the actual cutting process, that jet is about just under a millimetre in diameter. It's pushed through a diamond orifice under 60,000 psi of pressure. It's travelling at just about three times the speed of sound and it's uh, mixed with an abrasive garnet and that's what does the cutting. In Imperial, basically we can cut eight inches thick of steel. This is my partner, my business partner, Mike. Um, he's looking very pleased with himself on the left. And on the right, he's pretending to inspect a part. Um, that's 20 mil stainless steel. That's typical of the stuff we like to do. Nice thick metal, but we can do absolutely anything else. And that's a classic stuff that we get from the engineering sector. This, on the other hand, is um, so it's totally different. We're not fussy who our clients are. Uh, whatever their persuasions. Um, we will, this is, these are tiles. Tiles are very, very difficult to cut. They're very brittle, but water jet cutting is perfect for cutting them. We can cut some really intricate detail in them. We can cut circles and holes. This is another example. This is the Western Baths. Um, this was done by, well, it's Alistair Gray's mural. Um, Nickel Wheatley was the chap that pulled it all together and project managed it. But basically, Nickel gave us the blank tiles. Um, we then cut them into the various shapes. Um, from his design, and then he then took them away and printed them all, finished them off. Rachel Elliott, she specialises in glass. Um, she, will, she basically gets us to cut all sorts of shapes, lots of animals, bears, foxes, rabbits, the like. She will then go through a printing process. Well, I'm not sure how she does it, to be honest. She then takes it away and does a secondary process like that, that um, feather, and then she retails it from there. This is more typical of the, the kind of material we get from the engineering sector. That's an 80 mil thick piece of carbon steel. Um, it cuts particularly well. You can see the scale from the, the 20 pence piece there. One of the key advantages of using water jet cutting is there's no heat involved. So there's no change uh, to the properties of the material at all. This is one of the more unusual ones we've had recently. This is for, uh, I think it was Forestry <coughs> Commission. It's a target uh, for deer stalking. We did that for them and then we, got quite, we sold a couple more. One for a garden ornament. Uh, made out of steel as well, and another one for a bit of a bit of plywood, which the guy turned into a blackboard. So, as I say, we're we're happy to do anything. This um, we work to tight schedules and panic panic jobs sometimes. Um, the Grand National, Scottish Grand National, is this weekend. Smiling Cuthbertsons, uh, who fabricates in Kilmarnock, came to us um, at the end of last week saying, we've just been asked to do the trophy for next Saturday's event. <laughs> um, that's last year's, they did exactly the same to us last year. Uh, but we, hopefully we'll see if it gets there on time. Um, this is some aluminium, ranging from 3 to 40 mil thick. And that's for Glasgow University, um, their student, for, Formula student racing car. Uh, we haven't heard any reports back, so that means no news is good news, so it probably worked. Um, and so, yeah, this is uh, uh, rubber, how thick is that? I think it's about uh, 40 or 50 mil rubber. This is a good example, those sort of very small holes, um, that's the kind of detail we can achieve in virtually any material. Um, and we can cut virtually anything in the synthetic side of things. Acrylic gives us a bit of a headache, but we can cut it. But we also cut foam, plastic, rubber, you name it. Um, this is one of our more unusual jobs. Um, I was going to try and make a joke about building a stone circle from someone and getting the wrong end of the stick. It couldn't quite work out in the background, but that's a candlestick holder. <laughs> um, and um, that's basically a, pe a pebble from a beach, and uh, we cut a hole in it. Eddie is uh, <laughs> Eddie's our senior machinist. Now, this is actually a, a metal sign, which we did on signage, but Eddie's perfect employee. He um, spends his whole day lifting metal around the workshop, and then 
when it comes to the end of the day, he doesn't go home, he goes to the gym and lifts even more metal. Um, so he is our, he is our first class employee. These are um, 50 mil granite. Uh, basically, uh, we're cutting this, a landscape gardener came to us and they, they gave us the designs, but they're creating a walkway through a garden. And as you went, as you progressed along it, the different images of the birds were fly, the bird was basically flying up the garden path. Uh, but that's from 50 mil granite. This is a bit of sculpture. Um, Ian Kettles uh, did this with uh, assistance or fabricated by uh, Scott Associates. We do quite a lot of sculpture work. Um, Scott Associates, Andy Scott, Rob Mulholland, we do some for him. We do Lisa Scare and also we do a bit of silo work as well. So we basically do quite a lot of that kind of stuff. This is Rob Mulholland's work here. This is, um, this is for a BBC documentary on the First World War. We cut those profiles out of uh, mirrored stainless steel, uh, again to, to Rob's design, and then he basically looked after it from there. But it's a good example. Water doesn't stain the material at all. There's no birds around the edge. This is my favorite client. Um, she's also my wife, so that's fair enough. Um, basically, this, her business, Slated, she basically cuts profiles out of slate, whether in the shapes of birds, she does islands. She's, Scotland is our best seller, funny enough. Um, and uh, basically, she basically gives us the design, we convert the drawing and take it from there. This is one of her ones there. Um, she did this for the equestrian market, but it seems to export quite well to Italy and to New York. Um, but basically, we can fairly much cut ending. You give us a drawing, and as long as we can convert that drawing into some form of CNC file, we will be able to cut it, whatever the material. 